Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I am going to be going through this absolutely lovely, beautiful chart. Once again, I could say more about my feelings of this chart but then I will be banned likely by YouTube for just using absolute crazy profanity about my feelings for this wonderful wife of mine this range that continues to trade well yeah i've absolutely yeah of course i've started off this video wearing a face mask in the most random way possible i have no idea what i'm doing with my life right now hopefully i hopefully i know what i'm doing with this bitcoin chart because otherwise you would not be what interested in my opinion of what i'm going to give you right now so i'm going to be going over my High time frame perspective on Bitcoin, how I have been trading this, how I'm trading it literally right now on the Bitcoin charts. Um, yeah, hope that you're all well. You're going to enjoy this one because once again, I just have an absolute masterclass for you. Um, so yeah, let, let's just dive straight into it. So I mean, what, what's there to say? You're all thinking it right now. I know you're all thinking it. You're thinking, Daniel, don't say it. Just, just don't say it, Daniel. I'm going to say it. Nail the top once again. Absolute minute of this rise that we obviously had. It was looking good when I was doing it last week. When I was talking about it last week, obviously it was looking good when we were when we only hit 9,100. But that high on the 4 a.m. where I was looking for that high to be put in around 9,300 at the 4 a.m. during the Asian session, that was the high that was not taken out. And we obviously have seen this you know, this move to the downside. What I want to say is at me a better trader right now in cryptocurrency because you're not going to find one. You're literally just not going to find a better trader right now. Absolutely killing this. Um, so yeah, how have, how have we moved on from that? Obviously, let's just review it. Let's just review it really quickly. We all know what went on around here. I was distributing my coins, <laughs> my Bitcoin up around 9,800 to 10Ks. Uh, from that distribution, we can see the move to the monthly, move to the middle of the channel, the um, you know the rally that we had. Just look at the volume. It's, it's crazy. The rally that we had here on you know abysmally low volume. Okay, the sell off that you know resumed after that, picking up on volume again. So it's really clear what's going on right now. Um, have a higher time time frame distribution range and obviously this is what i've been talking about over on uh twitter for you know uh posted on twitter obviously in my group i give everything before but um you know this is the, the sort of the range that i've been you know hinting was distribution okay and this is what that distribution schematic then looks like okay so obviously you're buying climax you're up thrust your sign of weaknesses uh, and then you, you you know you obviously had the possibility of a utad uh it seems unlikely that it's going to happen right now obviously still possible but nevertheless uh from obviously uh, this sort of our last point of supply here, we are seeing, you know, the pretty steady, well, steady slash quick decreases in prices. Obviously, the sell off when we could not get back in that channel has, has, has you know, ended around here, around, coming into around this weekly level that we have at 8,727. So, um, you know, you might be thinking, so how am I trading this right now? I'm actually in a long position currently, okay? And I want you guys to all acknowledge, okay, I have a swing trade account and I have a day trading account. I actually have several of them both. But nevertheless, my high time frame perspective is, is clearly bearish, isn't it? You know, I'm, I'm clearly bearish on the higher term time frames. Um, you know, and I, I was bearish from up around <laughs> 9,800. So I'm $1,000 down from where I was originally bearish, but nevertheless, from this, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more than comfortable trading day trade longs, so this is the thing, day trade, day trade's in a long right now, okay, I'm in a long on the day trading perspective, medium term time frame, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a short position, um, so why am I trading a long around here, okay, you might be thinking, you know, Daniel, this is, this is, you know, this is going down right now, Obviously, I'm aware that we could head, head a little bit lower and, you know, that possibility is of around the bottom of the channel, which which is around 8,500 to 8,000, um, you know, 8,000, 8,550 ish. OK, so that's the bottom of the channel. OK, and if we simply remove everything else and we're just looking here simply at the bottom of, the, you know, this channel here where we were range bound in our channel, move out of the range, range bound again, move out of the range. OK, obviously, we back tested it there. Uh, I'll show you this, what happened last night because it was just perfection move down into the channel back test you know back testing the top of that channel to almost the exact dollar before dumping down once more to this weekly level you can see the reactions around this weekly here you had your bearish cvd divergences and then you sell off once more okay and now you're ho hovering around this this weekly at the moment so uh I'm, you know uh, that that's that's currently how it's going right now so do we have the possibility of moving down to the bottom of our channel absolutely we do so this is still a support region Okay, it's still support until it's lost. Okay, on the higher term time frames, this this is a big support. Okay, so this eight thousand five fifty, yeah, clearly clearly support at, at the moment. Um, you know, are we going to come down to the rest in this move? Like, this is the thing I want to highlight to you. Okay, this this is the thing that I think is really really crucially important. Um, that when you're up at the highs, 
nobody's ever bearish okay nobody's ever bearish when you're up at these highs and i'm, I'm talking about like 95 percent of the traders you know everybody up at these highs is just going market market by market by market by you reach then that the lows and everybody's market sell market market sell so at the highs everybody's bullish at the lows everybody's bearish i flip it around up at the highs i'm bearish up down at the lows i'm, I'm bullish okay it's really 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 simple um you know obviously yeah we can break down lower but from like a day trading day traders you know scope trade perspective and you have to think but by the time i upload this video i could have already been out of this trade let's be honest but nevertheless from a day traders perspective you know from from this region where i see now once again shorts piling in okay shorts piling in at the lows okay i also see you know I, I like to go onto twitter every now and again just to just to see um you know what what i can look to counter trade in there and you know everybody once again is really ultra bearish at the lows here you know, and I, and I, I you know, I do say, you know, I'm, I'm bearish on the medium term time frame, but the majority of people that are turning bearish right now are, are a week too late. Let's be totally honest. They're a week too late. Um, so, you know, I see the perspective, you know, I see the opportunity here. Let's put it like that. I see the opportunity here of, uh, you know, possibly one more move to the downside here, but nevertheless, a move to the upside to basically trap some of these late shorts, you know, get this squeeze essentially to the upside uh, before. Yeah, we, we can obviously make informed decisions. OK, do we come up to these higher levels? On actually, instead of decreasing open interest, do we get open interest increasing, specifically net longs increasing? You know, we, we, we can't just uh, look at a chart blindly and say, right, price reaches this level, I'm going to be doing this, X, X, Y, Z. Like, nothing in trading is so concrete, okay? So that's why you have to actually learn what to be doing here. Because if you if you just follow, like, some sort of concrete plan, and you're like, as soon as price reaches there, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. You know, I'm going to do this as soon as price reaches there. It doesn't really work in trading. You, you want to be able to see how price approaches a level, okay? So I could say right now, I'm interested in shorting the monthly if, if we get this retest. Obviously, we have a CME gap. I'll show you where that CME gap is. Uh, we have the CME gap. The CME gap closed at around uh, 9,200. So around this 9,150, 9, 9,200 level, you have a CME gap potentially to get filled. So you could see some games like this happening today, obviously, of the, of the gap fill before you head down. But nevertheless... Um, you do have that higher CME gap. It doesn't it doesn't have to be filled. Let's remember, it does not have to be filled. But um, <clears throat> it would play into the narrative or the, the, the day trading perspective that I have here of a short squeeze um, to at least up this, to this gap level. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my perspective on this chart. I think it's undeniable how well I've been trading it. <laughs> and uh, sh surely, absolutely surely, this video will get some dislikes. Because people hate it when I say it. But, you know, I, I literally do feel as if, you know, just traded this absolute you know perfection so um yeah the range obviously still ongoing we are now reaching the low of a bottom of the range this is generally not a time where you want to be looking for shorts you know should be taking shorts when you're up at the highs not not really at, when you're at the lows this is a bit bit too late although yes obviously we could fall down but uh it does feel a bit too late right now okay i suppose not financial advice i'm not giving you financial advice i'm just telling you how i'm doing this for educational entertainment purposes do whatever you want with your with your own money you are you know you got to do your own decisions you know but nevertheless that's how i'm looking to trade this uh, i guess if we lost the channel lows so if we actually started losing these lows again well then yeah you could obviously have, have taken a long there but then just flip it into a short and you should expect good follow through down to the lows in my opinion okay eight thousand five hundred obviously that key support um so yeah, that's kind of my my perspective. Higher term time frame bearish, lower term time frame see an opportunity for a little bit of a short squeeze here. Uh, you know, get just kind of wreck, wreck these late shorters. Um, on top of that, we have alts moving really well. Um, my team know the alts that I'm trading. The the you know obviously the altcoins are um, pretty inversely correlated, so to speak, to Bitcoin at the moment. We can see them you know pretty green, whereas obviously Bitcoin from its daily open is is up 0.2 percent. But overall, we can see here you know it, Bitcoin clearly being has been pulling back, hasn't it? So Bitcoin has been pulling back pretty heavily, but and you know, obviously Ethereum on the flip side is, has been going up. So you can see the inverse correlation there. Um, yeah, I, I think the inverse correlation is is, 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 is is very, very clear. Bitcoin pulling back as, as um, Ethereum heads up. And, you know, what's really obvious is that when when, um, when Ethereum is strong, altcoins in general are strong. OK, so, you know, that, that's always been the case. Um, so, yeah, that, that's um, hope this video has been helpful to you. That is my perspective on Bitcoin. That's my perspective on this chart. The key levels, I'm give, going to give them to you once more. Obviously, the low of this channel around. Let's just give it some space. So 8,480 8, 8, plus is, you know, to around this 8,550 8, 8, is, is a key support level. Bulls don't really don't want to see that lost. On the flip side, you have that resistance. You know, still, obviously, we could, we saw it on the lower term time frames as you back tested it. Just absolutely perfect. It's just so perfect. You know, this uh, 9,000, uh, you know, in 60 level, top of the channel resistance. 
coming into the monthly around 9339. Those are the key resistances that you have on the short term. Obviously, then you have around 9500 9, back back up to 9800. So yeah, take it a level at a time. Don't 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 get obsessed with a bias. Don't don't think like oh this is so bullish. I'm just going to only trade longs. I'm so bearish. I'm only going to trade shorts. You know, trade the chart. That's, that's my my tip that I can give you. Trade this chart. Truly, just trade the chart with zero emotions. Zero. You know, who, who cares at the end of the day? I couldn't care less if Bitcoin goes to 20,000 or Bitcoin goes to 2,000. I could not care less. I'm trading this chart in the, in, to make money. That, that's all I care about, if I'm honest. I trade Bitcoin to make money. Not, I'm not in it for anything else, if I'm totally honest with you. So I'm, I'll be happy to trade this up. I'll be happy to trade it down. But uh, at the moment, bigger term time frame, trading it down. Shorter term time frame, I'm trading it up. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, that, that's kind of hopefully you able to get into my head. I hope that you have appreciated me giving you the time to give you this technical analysis. If you want real time updates, uh, obviously updates sort of like this when I'm entering my longs, uh, updates kind of like this where I'm like literally laying out plans. This was way when when we were back here waiting for 9,300 for the short position. OK, and, uh, you know, even giving the time at 4 a.m. when that high would be put in. We put the high in literally at 4 a.m. And from there we saw a crazy move to the downside. Um then obviously chartchampions.com is the place for you and you can you can learn how I'm doing this. OK, uh, and there we go. We continue to move up right now. So very nice indeed. That is a healthy little sculpt position. Hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Have an absolutely brilliant week ahead. Enjoy the holiday that is today. And uh, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>